Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Kevin Lines. He's a Monroe County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Kevin, spring has arrived and, you know, a lot of times we think about weeds that we have problems with the last year, mm -hmm. but timing, identification, all those things are super important. And one of those weeds that we get calls about is multiflora rose. It certainly is a growing problem, is if you'll pardon the pun, but it's a very aggressive plant that's uh, getting more and more calls. So that's a one you want to get on early. So it's not a one and done situation. No, it's not, and it's a tough one to deal with. And that's I think that's part of the reason why it's kind of uh, proliferating a little bit more than maybe it should. Or, uh, but it is very hard to control once it gets some growth on it. So the key to that one is getting on it quick and taking those steps to, to keep it suppressed and. It's hard to ever really eradicate something totally. You just manage it, try to mitigate it. Um, but it is something that'll get away from you really quick if you let it, uh, you know, spread. Absolutely. Now this is a, a real bushy, woody type plant. So it's not like a weed that we normally think of like ragweed or something like that. And I think that probably contributes a little bit to the toughness of control. It does uh, for sure because it tends to kind of, like a lot of weeds, it wants to get in some bare spots, but this one also can get out in the middle of a pasture. It gets in, you know, it's hard to control in a fence row or a line of a forest, something where you can't really mow it down, bush hog it, so to speak. Uh, and that kind of lends itself to having to use some type of chemical control. Uh, but it is, uh, it's a tough one. It has a very deep root system, and when it gets some growth on it, uh, it's hard to knock out with just mowing. It's hard to knock out with just chemical kind of, you know, uh, integrated approach to it is, is what it takes to kind of keep that one, keep it down. Are there any telltale signs to identify this particular plant versus some of the other woody um, problems that we might have in our pastures? Yes, it typically has, a, a, it kind of looks like a blackberry uh, briars in a way, but it will uh, have a central rosette and then it will take off growing has a lot of thorny canes. Uh, people call it uh, different things, uh, sticker weed and this and that, but it's definitely one that if you if you get a hold of it, you'll know you did, because it's got a lot of briars on it. It's very tough. The canes are very tough. Uh, it, typically it'll bloom in the spring and have some white flowers, maybe some pinkish flowers on it. Uh, but once you kind of know what it is, there's no mistaking what it is after that. It's, it stands out. Uh, it can overtake a small area real quickly. Yeah, our, identify them early. And if people mm -hmm. are having issues identifying what type of plant it is, yep. now a lot of times we tell them to dig it up and bring it to the extension office, but if it's taking a hold, that might be a little difficult to do. But yep. pictures, if we can get a, you know, some pictures of the plant in the mm -hmm. area, especially if it's blooming, because that's really easy to tell yes. when it is. But we know, I think a good recommendation is just to kind of go out into your fields and kind of see what you have out there. And if you don't know what something is, get it into the extension office and let us help you. But some chemicals work better on this uh, multiflora rose than others. So uh, we've got good publications and references on what some options are uh, for herbicides that have good control on it. But it's a tough one. You can knock it out, but it's probably going to take more than one season to do it. Absolutely. And timing is important of mm -hmm. when we spray. A lot of times we wait um, and, and we, we get too late, but mm -hmm. we want to take care of it and might not have such good control of it at that point in time. Yes. And so now it's a great time to start thinking about control. If you had this problem last year, mm -hmm. um, start thinking about what you can do. Yeah, you can, you can get it knocked out. Probably take a couple of years to really make a show on it. I've dealt with it before on my farm. You can you can eradicate this big area. You'll still have to do some maintenance, uh, but it's just one that takes some time. You got to probably do it with the combination, the mowing and the chemical control. Yeah. It's just not going to really be. There's not a good easy answer to that one. It's not an easy one to get rid of. And so when you mention mowing, you're talking about mowing it down and then coming in after that with some chemical control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, typically you know you can bush hog it off. Uh, mow it off and let it get a little bit of regrowth where that chemical has a way to get down into the plant, go through the roots. Uh, crossbow is a is an option that people like out in pastures because it doesn't kill uh, all your grass and everything around that multiple rows. Uh, in fence rows, people use glyphosate, some other things that are kind of non-selective, but it just kind of depends on wh what you're dealing with and where you're dealing with it at. If people are having a problem, we encourage you to take photos, bring that mm -hmm. into the extension office, and we'd be happy to help you try to get that under control.